please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Understanding Python's U prefix when appending text arrays. Introduction. In Python, when you append one text array to another, you may encounter a situation where the letter U is added to the elements in the resulting array. This behavior is due to the encoding of Unicode strings, and it's important to understand why it happens and how to handle it. In this tutorial, we will explain why the U prefix appears and provide code examples to illustrate the concept. Why does the U prefix appear? The U prefix is indicative of a Unicode string. In Python, Unicode strings are used to represent text in various languages and character sets. When you see a U before a string, it means that the string is stored as a Unicode string. When you append one text array to another, you might encounter the U prefix when you mix regular, byte, strings and Unicode strings. Python tries to promote consistency and uses Unicode strings for the result when different types of strings are combined. This behavior is more common in Python 2, as Python 3 introduced better handling of Unicode by default. Let's dive into some code examples to better understand this concept. Code example 1, appending byte strings and Unicode strings in Python 2. In this example, we have a regular byte string str1 and a Unicode string str2. When we append them together, the result is a Unicode string with the U prefix. Code example 2, appending Unicode strings in Python 3. In Python 3, you won't see the U prefix when appending regular, byte, strings, as Python 3 handles Unicode more gracefully by default. Handling the U prefix. If you encounter the U prefix and want to handle it differently, you can use the str function to convert the Unicode string back to a regular byte string in Python 2. In Python 3, you can work with Unicode strings as they are without any additional conversion. Conclusion Understanding the U prefix when appending text arrays in Python is crucial for proper handling of Unicode strings, especially when working with both Python 2 and Python 3. Remember that in Python 3, the U prefix issue is much less common, as Python 3 has improved handling of Unicode by default. Always be aware of the types of strings you are working with and handle them appropriately to avoid unexpected behavior. Chat GPT Title, Python, Appending One Text Array to Another Adds a U Introduction In Python, when you append one text array to another, you may encounter a situation where a U is added to the resulting string. This issue is related to Unicode strings and how they are represented in different Python versions. In this tutorial, we will explain why this U character appears and provide code examples to demonstrate how to handle it. Why the U character appears The U character you see when appending text arrays is typically associated with Unicode strings. In Python 2.x, Unicode strings are represented with a U prefix, like U example, to distinguish them from regular ASCII strings. In Python 3.x, Unicode strings are the default, and there is no U prefix. However, when you mix Python 2.x and 3.x code or use libraries that do, you might encounter this issue. To handle this situation, we will explore different scenarios and provide code examples to show how to append text arrays without the U character in both Python 2.x and 3.x. Scenario 1 Appending text arrays in Python 2.x. In Python 2.x, you can use the str function to convert Unicode strings to regular strings. Here's an example of appending text arrays in Python 2.x. In this example, we convert the Unicode string text1 to a regular string using the str function before appending it to text2. Scenario 2 appending text arrays in Python 3.x. In Python 3.x, 
you don't need to worry about Unicode string prefixes because all strings are Unicode by default. Here's how to append text arrays in Python 3.x. In Python 3.x, you can directly append the text arrays without any conversion. Scenario 3, Handling Mixed Python 2.x and 3.x Code if you're working with mixed Python 2.x and 3.x code or using libraries that haven't been fully updated to Python 3.x, you may encounter the U character. To handle this situation, you can create a compatibility function like this. This function checks if text1 is a Unicode string and converts it to a regular string if necessary before appending it to text2. Conclusion when appending text arrays in Python, the U character may appear when working with Unicode strings in Python 2.x. To avoid this, you can use the str function to convert Unicode strings to regular strings in Python 2.x. In Python 3.x, Unicode strings are the default, so you can directly append them. Additionally, for mixed Python 2.x and 3.x code, you can create a compatibility function to handle this issue gracefully. Understanding these nuances will help you work with text arrays effectively in both Python 2.x and 3.x. ChatGPT